The case that made national headlines for years. Tonight, the lead suspect in the Natalie Holloway disappearance, Joran Vandersloot, has now been extradited to the U.S. He arrived late today from Peru. What are the charges that brought him here, and where does this case go from here? ABC's Elwin Lopez in Birmingham, Alabama tonight. Nearly two decades ago, Natalie Holloway vanished on her high school graduation trip in Aruba. And tonight, the main suspect in the Alabama teen's disappearance, Joran Vandersloot, is on American soil behind bars in Birmingham. He is facing extortion and wire fraud charges for allegedly demanding a quarter of a million dollars from Holloway's mother. That sum reportedly in exchange for information leading to the teen's body. This morning, Vandersloot handed over to the FBI by authorities in Peru. Back in 2005, authorities say Holloway was last seen driving off with three young men, including 17-year-old Vandersloot. He was never charged and has maintained his innocence over the years. Tonight, her mother Beth stating in part, I am overcome with mixed emotions, adding that today she is hopeful that some small semblance of justice may finally be realized. And David Vandersloot will be arraigned here tomorrow at this courthouse behind me. He won't be here for long, though. He still has to finish his sentence in Peru, but if convicted here, he will return in 15 years. David. Elwin Lopez in Alabama. Elwin, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.